Welcome to Life Stories with Kansi Grace Mwesije, a place where we share information that helps us to grow and to be better each day that passes by. Today we are sharing uh, saving tips that will help us to grow our finances and maybe ideas that can also make our finances to multiply rather than to be going into uh, negatives. We are in a, an era where uh, people's banking accounts, our banking accounts, they run up to zero. They run up to negatives. They run up to the bare minimums. And you know, you cannot uh, afford to live the rest of the month because there is nothing for you to draw from. Now we are talking about people who earn a smaller income uh, through the, 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 the workplace salary and those that are uh, having big incomes uh, through the businesses that they are doing, or maybe they are, uh, you know, they are house brokers, car dealers, and, and they have invested in a company, they are doing production. All of us have one thing in common, that we need to have a constant amount of money saved, uh, maybe preparing for investment. How do we get to that level to have enough to live on and also enough to survive on at that moment when we cannot uh, work? There is a friend who said that they have saved so much that even if they miss to have a job for the next six years, they can still live at the same uh, uh, level they are living on. Is it possible? Can we do that? Now, before we go into the tips that will help you to accumulate your savings, and even as you accumulate your savings, your savings can still multiply where you have saved them. Please subscribe for me, like this video, share this video with friends, drop a comment in the comment section, and check through the, 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 the channel. You will find very helpful other videos in this place. Okay. So what are the best saving tips that even as we save, our incomes will still grow? Number one, when you get a salary, maybe you have one million, that is your salary. There are those, of course, who have 10 million. But let's talk about the percentages now. If I talk about one million, apply it to your 10 million, apply it to your 100 million. Yes, there are people who earn those big amounts of money, 50 million. There are people who earn a lot. There are those who do businesses and their profit goes to even 100 million. There are those who are doing uh, uh, deals, house sales and brokers who sell cars and selling land and they can earn that million within a month, within a day and boom, it is there on their account. So what do you do when you earn your 1 million salary? Number one, pay yourself. If you, you are earning one million, plan on living at 20% of that one million. Now, 20% of that one million is 50% uh, um, is 200 and is 500. 20%, yes, 200,000. That's 20%. Yes, 200,000 is, is the 20% of your money. So pay yourself 20% and that 20% should be the salary that you are going to live on for the rest of the month. Okay, now that should be able to, to help you with buying clothes, that should be able to help you with the uh, eating out, that should be able to help you with, with your luxury, little luxury that you want. Then have uh, 20% saved now when you save the 20 percent do not touch it that is not going to be money for you to access in fact i would uh, suggest that you even save it with a national social security fund uh, if you are not uh, an employee that 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 benefits from that saving open a, a voluntary savings account and put that money there now be, once that money is there at the end of the year when you get that, when you, you check on that 20% uh, of the money that you have saved, the 200,000, it will no longer be 200,000. It will be more than that. 
it will maybe if the interest rate is at 10 percent you will have 22,000, not only 20,000 like you save. Remember when you put it in the bank account, there is a charge that is put every month. Maybe at the end of the year, that 20, that 200,000 will be 150, will be 120, but you will not get it the way it is. So save in places where your savings are going to multiply. Open a fixed deposit account where you deposit your savings so that you do not access them. But at the same time, even as you're saving, they are earning you an interest. Okay? Pay yourself. Save in a venture that multiplies your, 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 your money. And then have another in, part of that income. The money you'll be spending on transport. The money you'll be spending on, on your relatives the money you'll be spending on, on, on paying bills, the money you'll be spending on those things that are standard, right? Now, whatever remains, keep it on your bank account as uh, emergency money to withdraw from just in case you fall sick, okay? So that is number one. Save in places where you your money is going to create interest for you. You're not losing any money. It is creating interest. Also, pay yourself a salary. Okay? Number two, manage expenditures that consume your money. What are those expenditures? If you look at uh, water bills, if you look at electricity bills, if you look at transport, those are bills where so much money goes. Now, sometimes I see people using border, 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 border. Okay, you hire a border border from I live in, in, in Intinda. Now, if you're coming from Intinda to town, the minimum they will charge you is 5,000. So instead of sleeping and waking up late and you have to take a border border, wake up early, spend 1,000 or 1,500 or 2,000 and go to town and then use another 1,000 or 2,000 and come back home. Now, if you use 10,000 every day for transport, how much money are you going to be keeping? Honestly, border borders will run you down. Meanwhile, they will buy plots of land and everything while you're still paying border border rights. If you're going to use electricity, make sure that you conserve it, okay? If you're going to cook uh, beans, why do you put beans on a cooker or on a gas or on, 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 a, on, a, on an electric cooker? And you boil for several hours. If you're going to use the electricity, uh, the, the electric cooker, fine. Soak the beans overnight. Let them be soft and tender so that you boil them for just a few minutes. But if you can, soak these beans, boil them on sigiri and boil them in, in bigger amounts so that you can keep in the fridge and you do not have to boil beans on an electric cooker all the time. Save your electricity. Instead of spending 50000 every week for electricity on boiling beans, uh, boiling so many hard stuff, peas, soak them overnight, boil for a short hour, or, or, or you can even boil them on sigiri, and then you just fry when you have stored them in your, in your, in your, in your cooker, in your, in your fridge. So save on electricity. Mind how you use your water. Don't run the, the water tap even when it is not necessary. Supervise and train your workers, your maids and your children on how to, to save water. Because if you don't use unnecessarily too much volumes of water, you will reduce on the amount you pay. Also save on the hospital bills by eating right. Eat right. Don't eat foods and then the next day your stomach is, is, is misbehaving and you have to go to the hospital. Don't sleep without a mosquito net so that you're paying, eh? you don't have to pay uh, malaria bills in the hospital, which you can save by sleeping in a mosquito net. So save on the expenditures and make sure that the unnecessary expenditures, of course I'm not saying don't go to hospital, I am saying you can sleep in a mosquito net and, and save yourself uh, from getting malaria, which will have to take you to the, to the hospital. And I am going to make this last one, which is the most important. Okay? 
let's assume you have been saving and you have these monies and you have accumulated you have your uh, uh, one million you have your two million you have your 10 million saved on the bank account or in your saving scheme how can you make this money grow and work for you to make the money grow and work for you look at buying government securities and bonds there are those that will come and they are selling these bonds for three months and they pay a very good percentage from 10 percent 15 percent and maybe if your money is so big and you are un, you are you're trading with over 200 million you have the right to negotiate for the interest that you want for that money of course the longer period you save the money for the longer period you, you, you commit your money for, the bigger the interest. And if you're committing for three months, the interest will be smaller than that which uh, it takes a longer time. So go for government securities, go for government bonds, trade in, 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 in stock markets, and your money will be making for you more money and you will live a secure life. And your life is going to be good. You don't have to be poor. You can always start poor, but end when you are okay. When you when, end up when you can manage your bills. End when you can take care of your health insurance at your old age. End when you do not have to beg or to even uh, do get debt. And lastly, avoid borrowing money for luxury. Don't borrow money for trips. Don't borrow money for buying clothes. Don't borrow money for eating out. Borrow only when it is really important and it is going to make more money that which you have borrowed. Thank you so much. Subscribe, uh, like, comment, share this video. Till next time, bye-bye.